morning, Glads. I'm Mr. Hill, And I'm Yolanda Morrison, and this is your KWHS News. College visits continue in March with the reps from UNC Greeley visiting us this Wednesday, followed by Paul Mitchell at lunch on Thursday. Next week, on Tuesday, CSU Pueblo will be here and then Adams State will be here on Wednesday the 15th. Seniors, mark your calendars for this important April visit. If you're applying to Pikes Peak Community College, the PPCC reps will be here on April 4th to help you complete your application. They will be back on April 26th to help you select your classes for the fall semester. You must have a hall pass to attend these college visits. Get those from the Counseling Center. While you're there, check out other important college-related information such as scholarships and financial aid deadlines. Attention AP students, avoid the line and pay for your AP exams in the business office or in the Counseling Center today. The deadline to pay for those exams is this Friday, March 10th. Hey seniors, the final senior meeting is this Thursday, March 9th at 9 a.m. in the auditorium. You must attend this meeting where you will receive important details concerning gear and information because, like it or not, graduation is right around the corner. Remember, the tassel is worth the hassle. And speaking of graduation, the senior class is asking for your pictures to be used in the graduation slideshow. Please make sure your photos are school appropriate and have only seniors in them. Send your photos to trujillobend2 at wsd3.org or contact Benny Trujillo directly to make arrangements. If you want your photos to be included in the slideshow, get them in early. Last minute submissions may not be included. Hey Glads, ever wonder what PLTW students do in their class? Stop by the library today to see the time-saving inventions Mr. Bergen's students have created. Prepare to have your mind blown by this machine exhibit. They're pretty cool. Students, if you can't make it to the library during school but need a place to hang out after school, check out Student Union where you can enjoy puzzles and games or unwind with some coloring sheets. Student Union is in the library every weekday afternoon from 2.30 to 4 p.m. You must have an after-school sticker to stay and play, but the inexpensive snacks are worth your time. Marissa, I bet Bet some people are already hungry. Let's check in with Miss Betsy. You got it. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Good morning everybody, happy Monday. Today we're having chicken sandwiches with all the sides that you love and enjoy. And then on Tuesday, we're having ham and bean soup. Now I want to bring something to your attention. This week is National School Breakfast Week. And if you come down and eat breakfast, some of you have to pay of course, but because there'll be all kinds of prizes hidden in your sandwiches and in your, and in your pizza boxes and things like that. So come check it out. You never know. You could be a winner. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, remember if you went to McDonald's without money, you'd go hungry. So please pay your lunch charges or add money to your account. If you've ever wanted to donate blood, here's your chance. This Thursday, March 9th, WHS is hosting a blood drive from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Sign up in the business office and remember to have your driver's license and parental and permission to donate. For other eligibility questions, contact Penrose Blood Bank at 776-5822. Please remember to have breakfast on Thursday morning and drink plenty of water. Now here is John Christopherson with our sports update. Happy Monday, GLADS. I'm John Christofferson, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. This Friday, Student Senate is holding its Warrior Games at 6 p.m. in Bowers Gym. Students from Whitefield High School, Fountain Fort Carson, and Mesa Ridge will compete in fun games like a Human Hungry Hippo, Tug of War, and Relay Races. If you are interested in participating, sign-ups are happening in the quad during lunch this week, or you can see Ms. Ship in room 202. We need spectators, too, so come cheer on your favorite team. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Dodgeball teams are now forming for the tournament to be held the week of April 3rd. The cost is $5 for a five-player team. That's $1 a player. See Ms. Ship in room 202 to sign up. Glads, mark your calendars for the Cops vs. Kids basketball game on April 14th. The games will start at 5.30 in Bowers Gym with the 8th graders taking on their teachers, followed at 7 p.m. by a high school team of Whitefield and Mesa students taking on the Cops. This is a charity event and entry tickets are $2, but wait, there's more. Each entry ticket gets a raffle ticket for prizes. If you want more raffle tickets, those will be available for $2 each or $15 for $20. See Deputy Stevens for more information. Finally, Glads, spring sports have sprung. As soon as those events ramp up, we'll have game schedules and scores. That's all I have for you today. I'm John Christofferson. Have a great week. Back to you, Marissa and Yolande. Thanks, John.
Attention students interested in attending the African American Youth Leadership Conference. The conference date is this Saturday, March 11th at Colorado College from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. See Mr. Hall in the Counseling Center for more information. Juniors and seniors, the prom is only a month away, so start planning your prom experience by getting your outside guest pass from the main office. Guest passes are due back on April 14th to ensure your date can accompany you to the biggest dance of the year. The prom will be on April 22nd and we'll have more information when the date is closer. Finally, check out these shout outs to our amazing teachers. Hi, I'm Georgia Lopez, and today I wrote my, my reverse power ticket to Ms. Sardinia because she treats all of her students fairly and equally with patience, gentleness, and understanding. She's a woman of balanced compassion, and I couldn't have asked for a better teacher to start my junior year with. See you, Missy. Hi, my name is Aubrey Joyce. I gave my reverse power ticket to Mr. Cummings because he is the best at what he does, and he pushes all of his students to the best of their abilities, and he's funny. My name is Anthony Berkey and my reverse power ticket goes to Miss Betsy because she's so kind and she helps out the school lots. I am Jada McDonald. My reverse power ticket goes to Coach Nelson. He's an amazing coach. He does a lot of things for us, for our runners and everyone else. Hi, my name is Elijah Clark and my reverse power ticket is to Doc. Uh, she's always there to help out the athletes and she's a very caring person. My name is Elsa Cruz Vega and I give my power ticket to Ms. Patala because she's always there for me when I need her. What a great way to start our week. Remember to fill out those reverse power cards and you too can send your personal appreciation to a teacher on the news. We appreciate your attention today. Have a great Monday. I'm Yolanda Morrison and I'm Marcia Hill and this was your KWHS News.